Golf grips, how to change your golf grips and get the most from them. Now, when it comes to golf grips, obviously your clubs generally come installed with them, but they wear out over time, depending on how much you play. And certain grips as well might serve you better in certain conditions. You might buy a club that has a grip and you think, well, I play a lot in the rain or I play a lot in a very humid place and I think oh I want a different feel which they can do. Now if you're looking at replacing your golf grips my advice for you is get a professional to do it it's kind of worth it take it to a pro shop get a golf pro to put them on for you. Um, the other option you can there's plenty of videos on YouTube you can search it's actually quite simple the thing I see people make mistakes of when they put grips on is they maybe don't line them up that well and then you get some funny lines because lots of them have, you can see here with this one, it comes with lines all around it and they have to correspond to the leading edge of the club because they can allow you to set that club up and make sure that your hands are in a position that relates to the club face because that's the thing we're trying to control. So a golf pro generally gets that very spot on. I've seen amateurs do it at home, get that a little uh, off. They also never tap the grip down enough, meaning this top bit gets floppy at the top because they don't top it, uh, kind of tap it down enough when they're installing it. And then that gets it twisting at the top and they fall apart. So my personal advice would be get a professional to do it, but if you want to do it yourself, you can. And it is relatively easy, but anything is easy when you know how to do it, isn't it? Now, what do you get in the world of golf grip? So let's look at, say, these three here. These are Golf Pride grips, half cord. So top of it here has this kind of cord running through it, going to non-cord at the bottom. Corded grips, I used to use corded grips as a full corded lambkin there, because I used to play, when I was playing full time as an amateur in the UK, we play a lot of links courses and it rains a lot here. And I found that the full cord was just fantastic at trying to keep more tacky when there was drizzle and rain about. So I went, more for the full corded option. A little bit more harsh on your hand on your glove, but I liked the traction it give. Most common grips are these kind of velvety ones, Golf Pride again here, velvety ones. See the little logo at the bottom. Things to bear in mind when you have logos and lines on grips that lots of them do. See these ones? If you've got a changeable neck driver and it spins the shaft, so it puts the shaft in at a different angle, what you're going to find is your grip, if you do change, the changeable neck isn't going to be lined up anymore. So you might want to go something which is logo less. So something like this can go on, it's round, hasn't got a ridge at the bottom, and it can go on at any angle. So even if you change that neck, it doesn't change the grip. Obviously, you've got companies like Callaway have a changeable neck that don't realign the grip, but not all manufacturers have that subject to what? golf driver you have. Now the next thing to bear in mind is you can change the thickness of these grips. So under the grip, connecting it to the shaft of the club, you put a layer of tape and you can add different layers of tape to make the grip thicker or thinner to suit personal preference. Now try not to go down the rabbit hole thinking a thick grip makes one action easier than the other because it's so player specific more than that's an actual truth, but there are things people can play with. You'll see some tall players have different thicknesses under different hands because that's a feel that they want. You can also get jumbo size grips, mid size grips, so getting thicker from mid size to jumbo compared to standards, and then X layer of tapes if you want them to get a bit thicker as well. You can also get different weighted grips. So I've got some very light drivers in the Zexio range of drivers that I play, and the grips are super, super light on them to try and keep the weight down of that whole club to try and increase club head speed. So when it comes to your grips, there are lots of elements that you can really play with. Lots of it comes down to your personal preferences and feels. Bit of technical on if the head is spinning in that uh, neck, you know, if you're changing the movable neck, those kind of ideas. Uh, the one thing that I would really advise on doing is making sure that you do get installed uh, professionally just so you get everything lined up exactly how you want. I use the CPX grip on my clubs, I re-grip mine with these and I was super impressed with a, how soft they were and good. I play across all of the world. I've been to Dubai in very hot weathers, I played in the UK where it's rainy and sometimes warm and then cold and recently in Tenerife where it was warm as well and they are super 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 tacky and impressive, so I was impressed with that one. But I didn't, the light color is the only problem with my rather than make them in dark color, because what happens is they mark really easy and they start looking maybe a little worn a little quickly. It's just my thoughts on some grips. What are yours? I'd love to hear. What grips do you go for? Have you tried playing with your grips or not? Again, let us know your thoughts.